A few months back, we reviewed the Glock 19X 177 caliber. Today, we've got the Glock 17. This is an Umar X Glock 17 Generation 4 CO2 blowback 177 caliber BB gun. For more information on this Glock 17, just shoot over to pyramidair.com. There will be a link in the description. This is officially licensed by Glock. And you can really tell it's a perfect one-to-one -one replica. Identical in appearance and operation to the real thing. And you seriously would have to look pretty hard to tell them apart. It really looks like a real Gen 4 Glock. So you got an all-metal slide, polymer frame, and we'll go over the operation and everything and give you an up-close look at this bad boy. But first we're going to do some shooting. This is 10 yards away on a windy day. I still had a lot of fun. But at the end of this video, we're going to really knock the crap out of stuff at 7 yards away. Look at this, you guys. Have you ever seen a field target got blown so hard his head is actually buried? His head was buried. So you guys know the drill. Fresh out of the box. This is the first time I shot this gun. The first BB out of the barrel. Found it smart. Ruin this egg's day. Right here, I was actually lighting up that Firebird target. It just requires a high-speed pellet to set it off. Don't worry, though. We'll blow it up with my trail scout. By the way, here's what that Glock 17 blowback action looks like on my slow-motion camera. And then here's the footage slowed down even more. This is five times slower. About five shots off a full tank. This smooth bore CO2 pellet pistol is putting out a 177 caliber BB a little over 300 feet per second. Before we get to the really good shooting, I want to give you an up-close look at this Glock 17. It really is exceptional the way they copied the 9mm Glock exactly. So while you're having an up-close look at this bad boy, I'm going to give you all the hardcore stats. This is rated to shoot 320 feet per second, has an overall length of 7.75 inches, weighs 1.7 pounds, Manual safety, suggested for plinking and fun, I agree with that, it's not a target pistol. Three or medium on the loudness scale. It's got a barrel length of 3.6 inches, holds 18 BBs in the magazine. By the way, this looks exactly like a Glock magazine, so I really love the attention to detail. Got a smooth bore barrel, semi-automatic, powered by a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, has blowback action, Simulates the real thing. The 177 caliber BBs weigh 5.1 grains. It has traditional fixed Glock sights. The way the sights are, it's super easy to aim. Full metal slide. It's a metal 18 round drop free magazine. And obviously it's gonna fit all your aftermarket duty holsters. It says with authentic controls and full metal drop free magazine, the Gen 4 Glock 17 handles just like the real version. Whether you're looking to practice with a realistic replica of your favorite sidearm, or you want to get reps in with what you carry. The Glock 17 Gen 4 BB replica is ready to go. So 10 yards away on a windy day with the cans full of water, I didn't want to knock them over. But when I got actual soda cans set up at seven yards away and shook them up, it was can carnage. We'll get to that precision shooting in just a second. Oh my gosh. We nailed him right in the eyeball. First, I want to know if it was fed strippable. It's actually not. To load the CO2, there's a teeny lever at the bottom of the magazine. You pull that and the bottom plate will slide off. And then you're gonna get a big Allen key with your Glock. So you just use that to unscrew the cap, drop a CO2 in there, and then the bottom plate of the magazine actually won't go on unless you pierce the CO2. 
or have the magazine empty. To load the BBs, there's a follower. You just take that down and click it to the right. Now to hold it in place. And then you just feed 18 BBs in that little hole, release your follower, and now you're ready to rock and roll. As long as your gun is cocked before you put the magazine in, you don't need to cock it. Here's a look at the top of the magazine where the hammer strikes the CO2. And right there's where the BB comes out. This right here is the lever for that bottom plate. It's always down there at the bottom. Really easy to use. You can lock the slide back manually by holding the slide release button up while you pull the slide back. It'll lock back. Or it's going to lock back when you run out of ammo. In either case though, just slap that magazine back in there. Hit the slide release and you're ready to fire. There's a safety on the bottom of the barrel so you can cut off the operation of the gun entirely. But your main safety is just like a Glock safety. You have to pull on the middle of the trigger or it won't go. The last thing I'm going to show you is that it comes with two extra back straps for your grip. So you have an option of three grip sizes. So that's awesome if you're trying to match your actual Glock and use this for training purposes. This Glock 17 was tuned perfectly for seven yards away. So I was able to hit these two inch targets more or less exactly where I was aiming with no problem. Here's what it looks like when you're keeping your sights on target. And here's what that looks like in slow motion. Look at this guy still dancing, but his head came off. Look at this guy back here. Oh my gosh. We nailed him right in the eyeball. Excellent shot. It was so windy that the targets kept blowing off. you guys i'm addy 5000 look and subscribe for more great content till next time happy shooting we'll see you on the next one